Baby Bump 2, Chapter 20, Into the Lion's Den. How long after overhearing Craig's confession to his father? You're in your office, Keith's office with Miles, Clint, and your twins. Keith stares you down across his desk, waiting patiently. Thanks so much for meeting us, Keith. I know this is very last minute. Why would thanks be needed? When it comes to the law, it is uh, one of my professional responsibilities to meet with concerned citizens. And it's always a pleasure to meet some of Gracetown's youngest. Yes. Uh, now to the business at hand. You never heard Mayor Finch admit to rigging the election. Keith, what can we do to make this right? Yes. Uh, what Justine means is that uh, we want to make Craig pay for his crimes, but we want to go about this the right way. I love nothing more than to see the use respect for the law. In order to make an arrest, I need hard evidence. The best case scenario would be a confession and physical proof of the alleged misdeeds. And you had been still investigating? Yes, but without a warrant, it won't go far. And without that evidence, I cannot get a warrant. You can't seriously think Craig won this election fairly. I have to admit, I have had my doubts. <clears throat> uh, forgive my weakness. The law is above my feelings, however. I've told you what needs to be done. However, I should mention that if any misdeeds are found, I am simply a cellular phone call away. Outside the police station, you, Miles, trade off to the twins while you strategize together with Clint. At least Keith gave us a direction to pursue. Good luck getting Craig to talk, Daddy stuff at, uh, he leaked stuff at City Hall, either. I guess that leaves us, uh, no other choice. I have to go to Craig's house, butter him up. He'll confess. Easily. Like hell, I'm letting you face Craig alone. Mm, I might have phrased it differently, but I stand with Miles, Jen. You can't. It's the only thing that makes sense. Craig will never confess in front of the guy he stole the election from, or the family he's got his eyes set on. I'm... not some damsel in distress. In case you haven't noticed, I can look after myself, and I can certainly handle Craig. Uh, have you thought of how you'll convince him to confess? I figure I'll sell him the sob story that Miles dumped me, everyone else abandoned me, and now Craig is the only person I could turn to. Like hell I'd ever do that. I know that. You know that. But Craig is frankly an idiot. You know, I bet if you played into Craig's lofty vision of himself, he'd buy it. Yeah, he cares about his ego way too much. Still, I don't like it, but it might be crazy enough to work. I agree. I have a small earpiece we can use, so Miles can listen nearby and record Craig's confession. Wait, why do you have an earpiece? Gavin's idea for matching Halloween costumes years ago. Very, uh, method. Don't ask me to elaborate. First, you owe me picks. Secondly, there's nothing to worry about with my stellar support crew by my side. We have just one more stop to make. You head to Elijah's shop just down the street. He pops up with a, from a rack near the back and then hurries to the front. And how are my favorite customers today? Elijah, please help me. I'm going into the lion's den, a.k.a. Craig's house, and I need to find some way for him to let his guard down. Oh, this is serious. I've got just the thing. It works like a charm, but uh, you're gonna hate it. What, walking in naked? Might as well. Elijah starts towards the back, but turns around and looks at Miles. Miles, do me a solid and wait outside. You'll wanna be uh, wild. Trust me. Fine. I'll take the kids for a walk. Miles leaves with the kids. Elijah soon returns with a gorgeous, sexy red dress. You notice the high slid up the thigh and completing, uh, complimenting jewelry. Now, that's a dress. One that you'll... Uh, that'll turn you into a sexy goddess for Miles. Greg's bound to slip up if you go in looking like that. 
I have a question. Why did we have Miles leave if Clint is still here? Not to mention it's a coincidence boot or confidence booster. I'll look good, I'll feel good, and we'll crush Craig together. Huh. So, ladies, question. How is this a confidence booster? Let me know in the comment section below. Sorry, I just... I don't understand. I really don't. You slide into the sleek outfit, admiring how it contours to every curve of your body. Greg isn't uh, good for much, but at least I have an excuse for a new outfit. I'll go get Miles. It doesn't take long for Elijah to fetch Miles and the twins. His jaw drops immediately when he sees you. Whoa. Hmm. That's a good whoa, right? Uh, definitely. Miles' voice grows low as he whispers in your ear. Sure you have to wear that to Craig's. Cause I can think of a few things we can do instead. If only I could wear this just for you. The twins squirm in Miles' arms as they grab at the glittery necklace. Glittery Do you like Mommy's shiny new dress too? Sounds like a yes to me. You picked another winner, Elijah. Even if I despise the reason I need him. I must say, I uh, still have reservations about sending you into Craig's house alone. You'll never pull, uh, you never pull know what tricks he'll pull. Especially in that. I'll be fine. Yucca. The twins seem worried, too. You could always bring them with you. Even Craig wouldn't harm them. If anything, Greg should be scared of them. Well, what do you say, little ones? Wanna help Mommy take down the bad man? Sounds like a yes. Well, then it's settled. Tonight, we infiltrate Craig's house and stop him once and for all. That evening, you arrive at Craig's house with the babies in your arms. You adjust the tiny earpiece, securing it in place. Testing, testing. Can you all hear me? It's loud and clear. Good luck. We're just a minute's drive away if you need us at any point. I think we're all ready on this side, too. You take a steadying deep breath and knock at Craig's front door. It doesn't take long before he answers. Oh, you're not the pizza I order. Although maybe I tip if they all look as smoking hot as you. Ugh. Let me at him. I'll punch your stupid face if he tries anything! Elijah wasn't wrong about the dress, though. You should still tip your delivery drivers. Uh, that's not why I'm here, though. Craig, it's the absolute worst. Miles kicked me out. And my friends betrayed me. I have nowhere else to go. Ah, oh, seriously. Why'd they leave such a grade-A certified hot babe like you? Certainly wasn't for comments like that. They left me because I told them... Your plan was right from the start. I don't know why I ever believed a park would be a better than a fabulous golf course. If only I could take it all back, we'd be hitting uh, the green right now. Really? I knew you'd come to your senses. Welcome to Hashtag Team Winning, hot stuff. Oh, I just threw up a, a bit inside. You are a trooper for putting up with this, Jim. You mutter under your breath as you push past Craig with your babies. If we can catch Craig tonight, this will all be worth it. Go to Craig's house to find a mess scattered around the living room. Dirty clothes, crushed cans, and a half-eaten pizza box as litter the furniture. Oh, boy. Little ones, this is what happens when you don't do your chores. Please, no! Craig flinches as Ben cries in your arms and takes a deep breath to regain his composure. Mikasa es su casa. You're in Craig's world now. Craig, I love what you've done with the place. Yeah? What about it? There's the, um... Your eyes dart around the room, trying to find anything to compliment. Bubble Lamp, 
Yeah, that really brings out the blues of the laundry. Wait, he's got a lava lamp? Hey! How much laundry does he keep lying around? I used to have a lava lamp. Well, a decade ago. More than a tornado through a laundry map. Ah, good eye. Fun fact, I've had a lava lamp in every room of my house. Seriously? I mean, of course you do. Make yourself at home. I'll get us some refreshments. Ask him for something complicated. It'll give you a chance to snoop. Craig, it's been such a tough day. Maybe you can make me a Bloody Mary, heat up the baby's bottles to exactly 98.6 degrees. They're hungry. What you fool? You hand Craig the diaper bag. His arm slightly buckles at the way. Uh, sure. Let me, uh, see what I can do. As soon as he's out of the room, you set the babies on the couch, careful to avoid the discarded cans and pizza boxes. Okay, he's gone. Where would he hide evidence? Probably in a pizza box, for all we know. You frantically search under the couch cushions, inside the pot of plants, beneath the table. Nothing. What's that? The man hits the couch cushion. You notice the space between the couch and the wall, and you stick your hand down and find... Oh, definitely not evidence. No, it's evidence of him being... Ugh. Uh, you know, here I've been single for a while now, and I don't leave my house a little in my room like that. <sighs> That's highly unsanitary. Just when I thought he couldn't get any worse. You gingerly toss the boxers uh, across the room and attempt to shake the ick off you. Seriously, just disgusting. What's disgusting? Turn as Craig strolls back in the room. Damn it! We'll never make progress at this rate. There must be some way to keep him occupied longer. I have an idea. Miles comes to the door, bangs on it, goes, Where's Jen? I was saying that the baby's diapers are disgusting. <laughs> Gross. Forget I asked. By the way, I had trouble heating the bottles, but uh, here's your drink. Well, that's very excessive. Now, where were we? I need to use the bathroom. You hand Justina Ben over to Craig. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with them? Uh, keep them entertained. Uh, let them play with your glasses or something while I'm away. <sighs> After all, you wouldn't deny a woman who's down on her luck, would you? Especially when I need to... Gussie myself up. I want to look my best for you. Per but perfection takes time. <laughs> Wink a crag and he bounce, launches, but quickly regains his composure. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, go on, uh, uh, get ready. I hope you know what you're doing, Jen. Craig eyes the twins warily. Please don't throw up on me again. <laughs> the babies tug at Craig's beard while you make your way down the hallway. Craig has a beard? <laughs> Seriously, that dead man does not have what qualifies as a beard. That should keep him busy for a while. You find the bathroom and slam the door shut, then tiptoe further down the hall to find the bedroom. Oh, boy. Uh, uh. Need housekeeping, Jesus. He needs to hire a maid. Or a flamethrower. You take your time in the bedroom, which is even messier than the living room. Laundry, folded moldy food, empty wine bottles, and more scattered across the room. How bad is it? Do you want pictures? I'll send you pictures. The living room was the least of my worries. This is a complete pigsty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a roach on the wall. Don't forget your mission. The sooner you find the stuff, the sooner you're out of here. Uh, well, if I were Craig and I wanted to hide evidence, where would I put it? I... nope, nope. You rummage through the mess, stepping over a half-eaten sandwich. Let me check check out the bulge beneath his pillow, the papers on his desk, the mess in the garbage can, the papers on his desk. You rummage through the papers scattered on his desk and find a stack of fan mail. Can't believe people would actually write, Craig. Wait, all these have the same handwriting. 
You'll never believe this. The crumpled papers here are old drafts Craig wrote to himself. You mean Craig wrote his own fan mail? Oh, you gotta read some of these. We're trying to find evidence, Miles, for the love of... To the Craig Meister, you're the best mayor ever. Wish you'd be G-Town's mayor forever. Love you know who. Voldemort? <laughs> Didn't know he's a resident here. It'll, it'll explain the chill in the air. Wow, Miles, was that a joke? You chuckle to yourself when he doesn't say anything in reply. The silence is deafening. You glance around the room again, looking for a new spot. Just then, you notice a suspiciously closed current. Curtain, excuse me. Weird. There's a curtain covering something on an interior wall. Hmm. I wonder, could it be uh, behind it? I doubt it's a window leading to the hallway. You pull the cord to open the curtain, and your jaw drops at the painting behind it. It's probably Craig. You're not going to believe this. What is it? I'm staring at a portrait of a very muscular, shirtless Craig. Like, gross body builder level. Why are we shaming on bodybuilder? Really? Hmm. Okay. There better be a goal hidden behind this to make up for the nightmares this is going to cause. You appear behind the painting and discover a large sack of paper. These are ballots all voting for miles. You stop halfway through the stack when ba one ballot catches your eye. That's my ballot. This is what we need to bring Craig down. Hmm. Don't forget what Keith said. If we want to ensure Craig's downfall, we need a confession as well. I hate it, but you're right. Jen, you're gonna... You gotta try to get him to confess. <sighs> Maybe I can try to... You stop short as you hear your baby's cries fast approaching. You quickly return the ballots behind the painting as just as Craig enters the room. There you are. Please! Please make it stop. <coughs> Craig, can't you the babies may immediately stop crying. <laughs> Looks like these two just needed their mommies. Wait, why are you in my sanctuary? There's your bedroom, Craig. I thought we were supposed to be here for a bounce chicken wow wow. Well, um... I wanted to see where the magic happens. You bat your eyes and bite your lip. Ugh. Can you blame me for wanting to see all this? Ah, you should have just said so. You know what? I'm gonna give you the grand Craig tour. Craig waddles his eyebrows and you sidestep him to head towards the hallway. Hold the thought. I just remembered the Bloody Mary. You hurry living room and focus on the babies in your arms while Craig follows after you. Stop. I know why you're here. You do? He does. His extra muscular. <laughs> Is that our cue to hightail it over there? I'm not an idiot. Gotta fold me. You're here to learn the secret to my success. Sure, let's go with that. You've seen through my ruse. I'm he I came here because I'm confused where I possibly went wrong. I poured my heart and soul into that campaign. Miles was even pulling ahead, but we still lost. Very convincing performance, Jim. Potentially Oscar worthy even. <laughs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. No. Try me. Only me and the twins are listening. What? Besides, you already won. What difference would it make if you tell me you're already mayor? Ah, you're right. What are they gonna do? Make Miles mayor again? He wouldn't be that foolish, right? X marks and leans in close. The truth is, I think he is. You didn't go wrong. If you listen to my dad, you did everything right. It was all Jen this, Jen that. Jen wouldn't be dis uh, would be a disappointed kid. It was ah, it was exhausting. What? 
Ben uh, has uh, that right. I don't understand. You're mayor now. My sweet precious daffodil, don't feel bad. My dad couldn't believe it either. He was in shock when I told him I replaced a buttload of votes for miles for myself. Good job, Cassidy. We did it. I just contacted Keith. He'll uh, just need to stall a little longer. Should Keith be uh, have been involved in this sting operation? Wow, Craig. What a smart tactic. Ah, uh, thanks. I thought of it all by myself. I bet you did. I never would have guessed you stole the election. You've got to tell me how you weren't gone. Well, I can't give away all my secrets, but it did involve a copy key, a fake mustache, and a rubber ducky. Okay, listen, I'm going to need to know about the rubber ducky, fam. Yeah, do. Just then you hear a knock at the door, crack opens it to find. Evening. I received a report about stolen property and came to investigate the claims. Oh, <laughs> seriously? You're always welcome here, Keith, buddy, but you're uh, mistaken. I never filed a report. I claim no such thing. Our tip said there was stolen property here. Keith, good to see you. Right this way. I'll show you where it's heading. What? But, but not that way! Push back Craig and lead Keith to the messy bedroom. A moment later, Craig sprints down the hall to join you. If you look behind the large painting of Craig, you'll find the stolen legal ballots from the mayoral election. Oh, those are, those are extra ones. I, I filled them out myself. Souvenirs. Mall moaning for miles. Yeah, right, because who'd believe that? If that's the case, why is mine there? It has a small scribble on it. Oh, and I'd be willing to testify that uh, to that in a court of law. Yeah, 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 you see, um... Yeah, that is highly suspicious, Mayor Finch. I'll also to give you the audio confession where Craig admitted to rigging the election from just a few minutes ago. That's not possible. You're lying. You... You pull out your earpiece. You can faintly hear Miles on the other end. It's over, Craig. <laughs> the twins giggle in your arms as you pull the earpiece back in your ear. Craig's face grows redder by the second. Why, you little... Craig, you only have yourself to blame. I can't believe you honestly thought I would come to you for help. You're the last person I'd ever ask or want help from. Yeah. The evidence is compelling. You are under arrest, Craig Finch. You, you can't do this. I, I did nothing wrong. He handcuffs Craig and leads him outside. We're just gonna burn down the house, cause holy sweet Jesus, no way to salvage this place. You are, uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you say anything. <laughs> You follow the two outside as Craig gets back in the back of the back police cruiser. He yells through the glass while Justine claps and Ben blows raspberries at the car. Do you know who my family is? My uncle's the governor. I own this town! Are you too happy that the band man is going away? Injustice was uh, brought to line, and now a long standing wrong can be righted. They should be happy citizens indeed. Thank you for your service uh, to justice, Jim. I'm simply do what, doing what's right. As Keith drives off, you feel yourself bursting with joy. We did it. Yeah! That's very anti-climatic. Hey, Jen, made it Luisa's to celebrate. We told Anna that, uh, what was going on, so naturally she told everyone else. Celebrating with our old friends, there's no place I'd rather be. Not long after you, Clint, and Miles meet up with your friends at Luisa's restaurant. Anna rushes up to you as soon as you enter, while the rest of the friends crowd around a nearby table. Well, did we win? Please tell me we won. Oh, just tell me already. We've been waiting here for hours. For her brave performance, Jen, would you care to do the honors? mess with their minds. We lost. We couldn't defeat Craig. Now I'll have to leave Gracetown forever. <laughs> I just got you here. Y you can't leave me. What will I do? This can't be happening. 
As Anna begins to sob, Louisa stifles a tear, Miles nudges you. Mm, stop messing them with, with them, Cassidy. Listen, you're all about messing with people, let's be real. Okay, so I may have exaggerated a few things and forgot to mention that Craig was arrested. Louisa lightly punches your shoulder. This is what you get for making me feel things. Your face made it all worth it. I don't know about you all, but uh, I think this calls for a round to celebrate. Louisa hurries behind the bar and starts whipping up drinks for everyone. So, who becomes mayor now? Well, it would only be fitting that Miles does. No, no, need to hold a special election first. I don't think anyone would run against you since you should have won from the start. You clink your glasses with Miles and all your friends, Anna and Bao, come to take the twins from you in Miles' arms. I think my favorite people deserve some time with their favorite aunt and uncle. <laughs> Maybe their favorite aunt and uncle can help with their stinky diapers, too. A little while later, you and Miles return to the back of the corner, and together and enjoy the peace, Miles wraps his arms around you, warming you from head to toe. I feel like I can finally breathe after so long. Never thought I'd have uh, the chance to be mayor again. Soon, you will be. I got an idea. You, me, celebrating together. I challenge you to a few games at the arcade and maybe even a round of mini golf. Really, Miles? <laughs> Who'll take care of the babies? Us. We can watch them with Anna and Bao. I've got to teach Ben our secret handshake. Louise is right. You deserve a night out on the town. How about it, Jane? Up for some competition? Why not? I mean, I'd like more than arcade games, but... Meh. You head over to Anna and Bao, playing peekaboo with the twins. Peekaboo! Hee <laughs> You two be good while we're gone, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mommy loves you so much. You and Miles kiss the babies goodbye and then head to, down the street to the arcade. You push open the doors and immediately met with pop music and colorful lights. You take stock of the pinball machines, platform games, I hear hockey table, and so much more you don't recognize. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Where do we start? You pick, but uh, let's get some real stakes. You're gonna regret your words. How about loser has to um, streak down the main street? Unless you're a chicken. As if I'd lose. Oh, put your money where your mouth is. Best two out of three. You're on. With your terms set, make your way to an empty air hockey table and ready yourselves at the opposite sides. As the two of you send the puck across the table back and forth until you hear the satisfying clack as it tumbles into Miles' goal. Victory will be mine. You slam the puck back and forth and Miles easily keeps pace with you. You shoot out your arms to block, but the point goes to Miles, one to one. Sure you don't, uh, mean defeat. You're not bad at this. Twisting your face into a competitive concentration, you double down on the game, you're neck and neck and it's down to the last point. I should distract Miles. Hold on, Miles. I think Justine spit up on me earlier. Can you come look? Nice try. Can't fool me that easily. I'm serious. I think it's right here. With your free hand, you point to your chest. His eyes flicker up. I still don't see... You take advantage of the opening and slam the puck across the table into his goal. Ain't hey, no fair. Hmm. But you see, all is fair in love and air hockey war. You forget greatness comes before the fall. Next, I challenge you to that. Miles points to a large arcade game covered in knights, elves, and other fantasy creatures. You read the title. Shadow Knights. Interesting choice. Miles runs his hand over the console, letting out a low whistle. Hmm, I used to play for lunch money on this thing. The good thing I'm uh, on a roll. How do you play? It's simple. Just reach the center of the maze. Oh, and watch out for the shadow minions. Step aside. I'll show you how it's done. We're playing for lunch money. 
You boot up the game, select your character, and flex your controls. Hmm. So I move the joystick to go forward. Easy enough. Ah, die. You spam the hit button and take out the first mission minion in a blast of fire. If I use uh, right turns only, I'll be there and no. You turn the corner and another creature attacks. Hack, run away. Don't eat me. You slam the joystick forward as far as you can and flee from the encroaching enemy. You turn under the corner only to find a dead end. Oh no, I went the wrong way. <sighs> creature suddenly covers your screen and shadow fire it slowly peels back to reveal the creature laughing. <laughs> Game over! Damn it, I thought I had that. Move over and watch the master at work. Miles settles up to the game for his turn. You don't scare me. You know what? You said just avoid the shadow creatures and make it to the middle. You didn't say fight them. And look, it looks like Rage Shadow Legends character. Ugh. For the battle cry, Miles barrels through the maze, taking out monsters left and right. Ay! <laughs> Whoa, you're good at this. He lied to us. He said, avoid the shadow monsters and make it to the maze. <laughs> the level flashes before your eyes as Miles racks up points. You're such a show-off. Maybe. It isn't long before Miles reaches the center of the maze, covering, coming face-to-face -face with the level's boss. I think it's safe to say I lost. <laughs> Bring it. As the boss swoops down on Miles, he rolls out of the way, slams his hammer into the creature's side in the nick of the time. Miles swings again and again and again until he depletes the enemy's health bar. No! And that's how you do it. Mm, you beat me fair and square. I wasn't even close. I just need a fair tiebreaker now. Glance at the various options, your eyes finally land on an indoor mini golf course to the far corner. You know, golf seems like a fitting way to stick it to Craig. Game on. You and Miles fetch some clubs and over the indoor mini golf course. You eye the little ball at your feet against the painted sunny backdrop. Nervous? Prepare to eat my dust. Follow the arrows to putt the ball in the right direction. Left. Look at the beauty of the curve. Miles puts his ball and it curves around the bend. Not a bad start. It ends up with a spinning windmill blocking your view. You should put. Wait. It said wait. You gotta wait for that opening. Miles lines up a shot with the hole, waits for the spinning windmill, and shoots. I might win this your turn. Forward. Easy as pie. Your ball topples in the hole, securing your victory. You can call me the queen of mini-golf. Hmm, you beat me fair and square. After you return your equipment, the two of you meander down Main Street together. Now, I believe there was something about a bet. <sighs> There's no getting out of this, is there? Nope, the deal's a deal. Miles takes off his shirt, then tosses it to you. Do you admire the way the three lights catch his toned body? You'd better enjoy this. Hmm, trust me, I already am. Without fanfare, Miles takes off down the street, sprinting past shops, eliciting shocked ex exclamations from passerbyers. So worth it. Miles returns to you shortly and slides back into his clothing. Hope you enjoy that, it ain't ever happening again. Mm, we'll see about that. I have my ways. And before Keith comes in, hey, yo, wait a second, that was indecent exposure. <laughs> and since you, you wander down the street, Miles brings your hands up to his lips, brushing a sweet kiss against your knuckles. It's getting late, and I bet the twins are wondering where we are. Yeah, the aunts and uncles will probably want to leave soon. Oh, what a perfect way to end the day. Your heart blossoms with contentment as you take Miles' hand and make your way home. With Craig put away, the following weeks fly by until the morning of your wedding. 
After a knock on the door, you open to find Anna and Louisa. Bride squad reporting for duty. Because you're getting married! Oh my gosh, I'm getting married. Oh my god, we're getting married. Hey guys, did you know we're getting married? Your wedding day is finally here. Are you and Miles ready to say I do? Find out in the next chapter of Baby Bump 2. And without further ado, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head down to the description below. Links to social media, Discord, if you like to support me and my content. And without further ado, thank you all once again for watching. Thank you all for being a part of this community. If you have not become a part of this community, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's it. That's all you really got to do. That's, that's really all you got to do at the end of the day. Once again, thanks for watching. Catch you all later. And by the way, I will be streaming RE Village later today on Twitch. Peace out.